What it look like TV, we back. Got this story out of Tacoma, Washington. This thing nasty. Really can't even put it into words. Check it out. I not only have the complaint, I've got the videos. And let me tell you, it is one thing to hear about oozing mattresses. It's a whole nother thing to see them. And we do have to warn you, what you're about to watch is graphic. You heard it right. Oozing mattresses. Oozing a what? You go to a hospital bed and your mattress. You go to the hospital and your bed is oozing. If this isn't a, a, a chemical risk, a hazard, infectious disease, whatever you want to call it, come on, this is at the hospital, the clean place. Imagine lying on a hospital bed with this happening. In videos provided by the Washington State Nurses Association, you see a napkin picking up what appears to be bloody fluid seeping from a patched up mattress. This can certainly be a biohazard to patients and a healthcare worker. Can be. She needs to start that sentence over from the top. This is a biohazard. The mattresses need to be thrown away, not patched up. This can be. No, this is a biohazard. Let's be clear. Because blood and body fluids can carry illnesses um, that can be passed on. Sicknesses that can range from minor to major. Ruth Schubert with the Washington State Nurses Association says micro tears and mattresses were absorbing bodily fluids of previous patients and still being used in labor and delivery. She says the union was alerted to in labor and delivery. They allowing you to bring your newborn into the world and them nasty ass masters, nasty ass mattresses. I couldn't even get it out the first time. And somebody insurance got, got overcharged for this service. It's disgusting. Problem two months ago, and that the patching was part of St. Joseph's response to the discovery. The patching material apparently wasn't applied correctly because it rolled up around the edges and there was still body fluids and blood seeping up through between the patches. We obtained this complaint to the DOH. It says St. Joseph's was notified of the problem in early September and more compromised beds were found throughout the month. We reached out to the DOH and they told us they would look into our request. In a statement from St. Joseph's Medical Center, they say compromised beds are immediately taken out of commission and are not used for patient care. What St. Joe's said may be their ideal, but it is certainly not what happened here. It took two months to get this problem resolved, and that's just too long. The hospital told us there's been a backlog in ordering new mattresses. Schubert says supply chain issues aren't enough of an answer. And since these oozing mattresses weren't found through routine maintenance, Schubert says there needs to be a better system for identifying these problems. Ultimately, it is, up to the, it is the responsibility of the hospital to maintain a safe environment for their patients and for their health care workers. And this wasn't resolved quickly enough. The next time you're in a hospital. Maybe uh, one quick resolution is when mattresses get tears, that means they have degraded. That means the quality is subpar. That means the mattress needs to be disposed of immediately, not patched. How much hospital beds cost per night? You can replace the mattresses when they tear. And it shouldn't be blood and bodily fluids oozing out of your mattresses. That brings in question the care that those people were receiving before they were on those, before, you know, the previous person, the people that received care on them beds. The Nurses Association suggests you might want to take a Kleenex and pat down that hospital bed if you experience this. I would advise them to contact the nurse and ask that it be removed and that they are placed in a different... 
before you suggest people get a Kleenex and pat down the beds, why don't you make sure you preface that with get a plastic glove. I don't suggest anybody just go get a Kleenex and try this on a bed. Get a plastic glove first and protect yourself because you don't know whose bodily fluids could be in that mattress. That's an important step. You can't mix, miss that one. If you want to try this, put some gloves on. Ad We'll be posting the complaint and St. Joseph Medical Center's full statement on fox13seattle.com. If you have given birth in the labor delivery unit or been in it and experienced any of these soiled mattresses, feel free to reach out to me at nia.wong at fox.com. For now, live in Tacoma, Nia Wong. That's horrible, man. You allowing people to bring life into this world on them dirty behind mattresses on top of other people's bodily fluids. Absolutely unacceptable, man. Ugh. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about this one in the comments, man. I think this is absolutely disgusting. And if you live anywhere near Washington, Tacoma, don't go to this hospital if you do. Like, they, like I said, get some gloves first. And then make sure your surroundings are up to par. Because obviously they'll let you sleep on a bloody mattress and on that note it's what it looked like tv i appreciate you especially if you made it to this point you're my mvp please hit that subscribe button that like button that notification bell and check me out on the next one i appreciate you